All right, Harry Reid is bloviating right now, and I say that affectionately, and I'm the top bloviator in the world. Well, maybe Hill, who I'm going to introduce in a minute, beats me. Continuing now with our lead story, the Hillary Clinton speech last night, with us Dr. Mark Lamont Hill, Fox News analyst, teaches at Temple, and a Democrat. You didn't like that speech, huh? No, not, not as much as some people did. I mean, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was provocative. I hated the outfit. Um, but one of the problems with the speech was she didn't go far enough. I wish she would have said Barack Obama is supremely qualified to be president of the United States. That's what it would have me meant to me to tote the party line and go all the way and be a real team player. Well, I mean, I don't think there's good blood between the Obamas and the Clintons. You know that, right? <laughs> That's an extravagant understatement. So, I mean, for her to be a phony out there. On, to some degree, her very presence there represents a certain level of phoniness. The Clintons do not want any part of Barack Obama becoming the president of the you, United States. Are you States. convinced of that? I am absolutely convinced of that. Why? Well, because I think we've seen the history of the Clintons. We've seen how Bill Clinton has failed to jump on, jump in line and really support Barack Obama. He throws rocks, he hides his hands, sort of like Dick Morris just said. You know, he'll support him publicly. He may come here and give a rousing speech, but then he'll let it trickle throughout the media that he doesn't think Barack is qualified. Do you think that you, Morris thinks that, that Clinton is going to go out and harpoon Obama in the next two months? I, I, I would be he's, stunned. He's not going to harpoon him. It's going to be more passive aggressive. He's going to give a speech tonight similar to Hillary's. He's going right. to say Barack's better than McCain. He's not awful. The country won't blow up in, under his watch, you know and vote for him, I guess. You know, it's going to be that kind of a speech. But I think you'll see trickling through the media these, the same current of Barack Obama's not quite ready. Uh, is there bitterness against... All we heard all week was how the Clinton people feel dissed. It's all we heard, Yeah. you know? And it was tiresome after the 18th time. <laughs> is there bitterness on the Obama people toward the Clintons? I would hope so. If I'm, but do if, you know? No, I, I don't know. But the, the, the rumblings are, though, that to some extent, they feel like they've been over backwards for the Clintons, and they're simply not satisfied. The idea is you lost. You know, I'm the nominee, and at some point, you have to accept the role that you have as helping me win and moving on with the party. If it was a mistake to give them two nights, and I would have given them one. Absolutely, but Barack is between a rock and a hard place. If he gives them one night, then it's more talk about disrespect. It's Why would that be disrespectful? It it's doesn't all Clinton evening. Your, your question hinges upon the idea that they're being rational and reasonable. The reality is the Clintons are not being rational and reasonable. They do not want to let go of the fact that they are not in control of the party anymore. They want every night to be Clinton. Do you think that Barack Obama is going to have to explain why he didn't pick Hillary Clinton somewhere down the line? No, I don't think so. No? I don't think so. You rope a dope it? I, yeah, I mean, there's no good, what, what, what good reason could you have? Right. The only good reason would be an honest one, which is I don't trust the Clintons. I don't think, I think Bill Clinton would be a loose cannon on, on the campaign trail. And I think they would undermine my candidacy. He can't say that because he'd lose those 18 million votes that they keep, you know, spinning around. Now, Joe Biden, is he your man? I mean, are you down with Joe? I'm, I'm down with Joe. Are came, you down? I, yeah. I came when you're, even though I didn't like that articulate <laughs> stuff, I came on here a year ago and said he's going to be the nominee. He's the perfect. Did tip. you really? Yeah, absolutely. On this show? Yes. You need to check the tapes. Take I said tape up. Yes. And then go to AC and bet on, on whatever they I said. Take that tape up for reality check tomorrow <laughs> night. No, I'm serious. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you predicted it. Absolutely. But um, I like Biden. I think he's a patriot. But now you got two extremely liberal um, senators, and it shows, the polls show, that the conservative Democrats, and there are many, are leaving. 63 percent support but, the ticket. But what's the alternative? Do you honestly think that if Hillary Clinton had been at the bottom of that ticket, that she somehow, that the conservative Democrats would somehow jump on board? Yeah, I do. I think the Hillary thing would have gotten him millions of votes because there would have been a perception that Bill Clinton wasn't a bomb thrower, a left-wing bomb thrower while he was in office. He was a pragmatist. He let Morris run the polling. Whatever the polling said, he did. Right. He was a centrist. Right. There is a perception among many Americans, and I'm included in this, that Barack Obama is a hardcore leftist. I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. You are wrong, Bill. I wish he were a hardcore leftist. I'm a hardcore leftist. Barack Obama is not a hardcore leftist. But see, he hangs with people who are. Uh, that, that's, that's more... What did your mom say? You're defined by your uh, friends. Absolutely. Your Barack Obama has surrounded himself with people on both sides of the aisle. He's shown enormous flexibility on everything from drilling to school reform. He is not a leftist. I, Dennis Kucinich is a leftist. I'm a leftist. He's not a leftist. I wish he were, but he's not. Okay. Um, but he's got to convince people like me, who are independent voters. And I'm not convinced. He Joe won't, Biden should convince He won't you. come in, and he, and he won't talk to me. So I have to now evaluate it from the outside. But if I could look him in the eye like I'm not looking you in the eye, I could ascertain what kind of guy he is. Biden is, not, is, is a very liberal. He's a traditional liberal. He's not the, I mean, you sort of. Third. 
I mean, first of all, that that poll you keep appealing to, where you say they're the most liberal center. National Journal. It, it's, it's based on a very a very voting, a very narrowly voting. defined set. Yeah, on, on, on a set of issues that conservatives define a very narrow set of issues. No, the National Journal are, are key issues, and, and, and that's absurd. Come here. on, Doctor. You're, you're, the National Journal yeah. takes the votes and sees where the votes certain, lie, certain and then makes votes, a poll. Certain key votes. Okay. And you, and you all define what key votes are. They don't vote on how many shoes can come in from no, no, Guatemala. No, but now you're taking right. something absurd, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, Doctor Mark Lamont Hill, everybody. He'll be back in the classroom next week. If you did that, make great prediction, you'll see yourself on Obama. I appreciate night. that. And I got an Obama t-shirt for you. Okay, get Obama for me. Blank the t-shirt. <laughs> He'll bring the t-shirt for Obama. you. Get Obama.